Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be discussing one of the most highly requested widgets that we get asked for all the time. That is the Google Reviews widget. The Google Reviews widget allows you to display business reviews, star ratings, as well as a photo gallery, all posted by real world customers and pulled in automatically from your Google business page. By leveraging Google's public API, your site can be kept in sync with the latest reviews and ratings found in Google Search and Google Maps. You also have multiple layouts to choose from and endless styling options to fit any site design. So without further ado, let's jump into the builder and take a look at how to set this widget up. Here in the builder, we have our gardener template. And if we scroll down here just below the bottom of the page, I want to replace this manually created review section with the Google reviews widget. I have a separate site already created that we can see here so that we can preview exactly what we're going to be creating in this demo. And we're going to use the Google reviews widget to show real customer reviews that will update and change over time as new reviews are added to the Google business listing. Let's head back into the builder and get started on that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove this row because we won't need this anymore. We'll create a new row and we'll move that row up out of the footer. Next, let's open the rows design tab. Let's go down to spacing and give this a 100 pixel top padding. Great. Finally, let's open up the widgets panel and let's grab that Google review and drop that widget right onto the page. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the widget isn't loading. It's just showing the animated dots. This is simply because it's waiting for us to add the necessary information into the widget so that it has content to display. So let's take a look at the options panel and look at how we set this widget up. The first one being the Google API key. This is where you enter the API key for your Google Cloud console. Below that, we have the Google Place ID. This is where you enter the place ID of your Google Place. Setting up and acquiring the API key is a bit of a multiple step process, and it's a little too long for this single video. So we've created a second training video, which you can find in this playlist. Be sure to check out that video, which will walk you through how to set up and obtain your Google API key. As per the Google Place ID, I'll leave this field blank for now as we finish going over the options panel, and I'll come back to it to show you how to obtain that Place ID. Below this, we'll take a look at the number of reviews to fetch option. This sets how many reviews are shown in the widget. Now, due to Google's API restrictions, we are only able to pull in a maximum of five reviews at a time. Also, due to Google's API restrictions, it won't be possible to pick and choose which reviews are shown. Instead, Google will decide which reviews are most useful to the customer and will display those reviews automatically. If we come down below that, we have the display layout option. This sets whether the widget displays the reviews in a carousel or a column layout. When the carousel layout is selected, an additional menu is shown. That is this carousel settings option. In here, the settings are pretty self-explanatory as they're all labeled with their exact functions. However, we will go over one setting in greater detail, which is going to be this loop reviews option. This enables the ability to cycle through the displayed reviews in an infinite loop. It is important to note that when loop review is enabled, the truncation option or the read more button on the reviews is no longer available. This is done to avoid conflicts within the widget. Coming out of the carousel settings, if we go into the place detail settings, this menu offers additional options specific to the place or the business detail column within the widget. The settings within this menu are also self-explanatory as they're all labeled with their exact function. However, I did want to scroll down and highlight one setting specifically, and that is going to be this show write a review button. 
This option enables or disables a button that will redirect site visitors to a new tab to Google where they can then fill out and submit a review for your business. Coming out of the place details, if we go into the review details section, this menu offers additional options specific to the reviews portion of the widget. The settings within this menu are also self-explanatory and labeled. However, I did want to mention the Trunkit review content option. This enables or disables the Trunkit functionality or the read more button on the reviews. That's all for the content tab. So let's come back up here to the Google API key and the Google Place ID. As previously mentioned, be sure to check out our second video in this playlist to learn how to set up and acquire your Google API key. In the meantime, I do have one already ready to go for this demo, so I'll paste that in here now. And now for the Place ID. Just below that input field, we have a hyperlink that we can click here. This will take us to the Place ID page. And then from here, we have a search bar in which we can type the business name that we want to add. I have one ready to go. Select it from the drop down, and you'll be presented with this information in this bubble. We want to grab the place ID, copy that back in the builder, paste that place ID. And just like that, we have the Google business listing reviews for the business that we just grabbed the place ID for. With the content tab taken care of, let's jump into the design tab and get to styling this widget. Here in the design tab, we won't go over every option as everything is pretty self-explanatory and as with the content panel, everything is labeled with its exact function. However, there are a few options specifically that I did wanna highlight and some options that we were gonna change to better match this widget to the theme of the site. The first one being in the navigation styles panel in here we have an option called arrows offset direction this will set whether the arrows are placed inside the widget container or outside of the widget container so the negative option will place them outside of the widgets container and the positive option will place them inside the container the next option that I wanted to highlight is this Google affiliation logo variant option. Here we have two options within the drop down. We have a dark option, which will display the text as a dark gray and the multicolored Google logo. And then we have the light option, which will display the text and logo as white. We'll set this back to dark. And now let's get into styling this widget. The first thing that I want to do is open the place details styling panel. We'll open this up. Scroll down and locate the place name text styling. I want to change the color of this text to use the same orange as the rest of the site. Below that, we want to locate the write a review button styling. We'll come down here. We'll change the background color of this to also be orange. And then we'll come down to the bottom to the show on Google map button styling. And we'll also change that to orange as well. Next, let's jump into the review styling panel and let's scroll down here and locate the author name. We'll change this to also be orange. And finally, let's jump back into that navigation styling panel let's change that to be orange as well. Perfect. This looks great. However, I am missing one setting and that is the view on Google Maps button that should be here in the place details. To enable that, we'll just open the widget real quick, scroll down to the place details options in the content tab, take this all the way to the bottom and show on Google Maps button enable that and there it is now we have that button and we're ready to go let's preview this open up our preview grab our preview link we can right click open that in a new tab and if we scroll all the way down we can see that on our preview site here the google reviews widget is working great 
that styling really matches the aesthetic of the rest of the site. And we have our fully functional and interactive carousel filled with awesome reviews from real world customers. In closing, I did want to once again remind you to check out that second video on how to set up the Google API key that can be found in this playlist, as well as highlight an additional feature in the widget, which is that you can completely disable the business info panel if you wanted to. To do this, we'll simply open the widget, we'll come down to the place detail settings, and we'll toggle show place details. Now the business information panel is gone and you're left with just a carousel full of customer reviews. And with that, my name is Norman Durkee and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.